Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing Fothergill's repair and Manchester operation. This is a very confusing thing when I was student. So I am making you a very easy explanation for this surgeries. What is what is a Fothergill repair and what is a Manchester operation? When we do this kind of surgery. When we do what we want to achieve with this surgery, we want to do a correction of prolapse. We want to retain the uterus and that means the menstruation function. But we don't want pregnancy in future. We want to preserve uterus but not the reproductive function that means pregnancy. We want just a menstruation function to be retained. Then we should go for this Fothergill's repair or Manchester operation. Why we are ma uh, making this statement that we don't want to uh, preserve the reproduction function because in this surgery we cut the elongated cervix. So what will happen? The cervix is amputated then the pregnancy cannot be achieved. If even it can be achieved, there will be preterm delivery because of cervix is not strong to retain the pregnancy. So when we cut this or ampute this cervix, we no longer can go for reproduction. What we do in this surgery, we just cut the elongated cervix, use the McCandrot ligaments as a sling Actually, the McEnroe ligament is a very strong support of uterus and cervix in the system. But again, we want to strengthen this support. How we do this thing? We will understand with this simple, with this simple figures. That means this is the uterus. This is the cervix. This ligament you are seeing here is a transverse cervical ligament or cardinal ligament and we are discussing here is a McEnroe's ligament. This is the McEnroe's ligament and this is the vagina. Okay. And this part is a cervix. Now what do we want to try? What happens in the prolapse? In prolapse the figure look like this. Where the cervix and uterus has been prolapsed here. The McEnroe ligaments are also stretched. This thing is we can see in the prolapse thing. So how we correct the thing? We just ampute the cervix. That means we just cut the cervix from here. Then we strengthen this McEnroe ligament, stretch them and fix them on the anterior part of the cervix or anterior leap of the cervix okay now you can see the ligaments are strengthened just like it was before then we make colporaphy that means correction of colpus what is colpus what is colpus colpus means the fornices when this is the u cervix and this is the vagina this my very friend is a Colpus and we just correct the colpus. So, correction of the colpus is called colporaphy. Okay, what we do in this surgery exactly we do up, we perform a primary dilatation and curettage before doing anything. Why we do this thing? We just want to remove defective endometrium and we just want to make the cervical os more dilated so that it can be it can be patent in the uh, healing of the surgery so we want to make this cervical os as a patent thing so that's why we are doing the dilation curatage before it. then what we do we do a amputation of the cervix what we do a suturing of McEnroe's ligament in front of the cervix then again we just correct the corpus, anterior corporaphy, 
पोस्टरियर कोल्पोराफी और कोल्पोपेरिनियोराफी द एक्चुअल स्टेप्स ऑफ द सर्जरी आर सम कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू ओनली नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द वेरी बेसिक कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस मैनचेस्टर ऑपरेशन एंड वॉट इज द मैनचेस्टर ऑपरेशन इज दिस डायलेटेशन क्यूरेटेज एम्प्यूटेशन ऑफ द सर्विक्स सूचर इन द मेकेनोस लिगामेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द सर्विक्स एंटीरियर एंड पोस्टीरियर कोल्पोराफी Why we are doing this thing? We just want to strengthen the already support is there, which is mechanical nerve ligaments. Okay, and what we what we achieve in this surgery? We achieve a very good amount of support for uterus. We remove the extra cervix. We preserve the uterus, but we lose the reproductive function. This is the very basic for Manchester operation. Now there are two type of sutures are taken in this thing, and people are also confused with this thing also. Stumdoff suture is what? What is Stumdoff suture? It is nothing, but we just suturing the McEnroe's ligament along with anterior vaginal wall on the anterior lip of the remaining amputated cervix. so this suturing this strengthening is called stumer dof suture what is fothergill suture nothing we just repair or we just attach the posterior vaginal wall to the posterior lip of the remaining cervix this is fothergill suture so very basically stumer dof suture is anterior suture for the case of posterior suture so this is a very very basic thing about further gills repair and manchester operation if you need to do, go for a very deep uh, knowledge of this surgery then also comment on the video i will again upload another video for this thing thank you